This morning, we're now hearing from the families of two U.S. veterans feared captured by Russian forces in Ukraine. I really just, I just want Angie back. He's just got such a big heart. We just want it back. The men, Alexander Drukey and Andy Wynn, both from Alabama, were reportedly serving as volunteers with the Ukrainian military. Drukey's family saying his platoon came under heavy fire last week, forcing everyone to fall back except for Drukey and Wynn. The State Department saying it's aware of the unconfirmed reports. If it's true, we'll do everything we can to, to, uh, to get them uh, safely back home. Their family say the men traveled to Ukraine in April, not knowing each other, but quickly became friends, deeply believing in their mission to help Ukraine. He couldn't sit idly by, he couldn't eat, he couldn't sleep, knowing that the people over there were suffering in such a way. He really felt he had to go try to help in some way. He really felt like he had a purpose and was very proud of what he was doing. He felt very honored to be accepted by the Ukrainian people, and he felt a responsibility to help them. Back in April, Wynn spoke on the phone to the ABC station in Huntsville, Alabama, acknowledging the danger. I made peace with the, the decision. I know there is a potential of me dying. I'm willing to give my life for what I believe is right. Other Westerners have been taken prisoner during the war, including two British men sentenced to death by Russian-backed separatists. We discourage Americans from going to Ukraine and, and fighting in Ukraine. It is a war zone. In the meantime, President Biden yesterday announcing another $1 billion in military aid for Ukraine, the biggest single military aid commitment to date. Ukrainian President Zelensky says that aid is desperately needed, with the Russians now controlling at least 75 percent of a key city in eastern Ukraine. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.